Hey, good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. How is everyone doing today, man? How are you guys doing today? Hey, this is Gregory Wilds coming live from Houston, Texas with this inspirational morning talk, man. I'm outdoors today, I'm outdoors. I give my son a ride to school today. We're on the beautiful um, Lone Star campus, college campus in Tomball, Texas. So I'm outside enjoying this beautiful weather here right now we're not that hot yet we might start getting hot i might will start getting hot a little later on but it's a little overcast here right now so i can enjoy this little outdoors right now man i hope everyone is having a great day i hope everyone is having a great day like i am man i just want to drop a quick word today drop a quick word today man and say give him praise give praises to God he entitled it let's everything that breathes sing praises to the Lord let everything that breathes sing praises to the Lord you might be going praying for something you might be stuck in that prayer phase where you're praying praying for something and you're not getting um that results you're looking for I want to advise you mix your praying with praising we got to move into the praise um, the, the, the praising of him now after we finish praying let's just move into the praising section where we start praising him Psalm 150 says um, pray praise God in his sanctuary praise him in his mighty heaven praise him for his mighty works Praise his unequal greatness. Praise him with a blast of the ram's horn. Praise him with a lyre and harp. Praise him with a tambourine and dancing. Praise him with, with strings and flutes. Praise him with a clash of cymbals. Praise him with loud clanking cymbals. Let everything that breathes sing praise to God. So he's saying we got to give him praise for everything, man. So don't get stuck on praying, praying all the time. You got to move into the praying, the praising phase. So let's look at some guys who does the, who did this in the Bible. Let's look at Acts 16, 25 through 28. We're going to look at Acts 16, 25 through 28. Good morning, Jalen. Good morning. How are you doing? Acts 16, 20, uh, Acts 16, 25 through 28. This is when Paul and Silas was in prison. Paul and Silas was in prison. Here what these guys did. Around midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God. They were praying and they were praising him at the same time. They were doing praise and worship in the prison. And see what happened. And singing praises to God. And the, and the other prisoners were listening. See, so God getting the glory. They gave him praises to God. And the other prisoners were listening. And so he getting the glory from it. Suddenly there was a massive earthquake and the prison was shaken to its foundation. All the doors immediately flew open and the chains of every prisoner fell off. The jailers woke up to see the prison doors wide open. He assumed the prisoners had escaped. So he drew a sword to kill him, but Paul shouted to him, Stop, don't kill yourself, we are all here. You see we'll shake this down. The singing and the praising, the praising and praying and praising him other prisoners listening god get the glory he will break open them out of that prison in second chronicles 20 21 through 24 let's look at the next example here where men going into battle giving god praise all right this is when jehoshaphat when these three nations was coming against jehoshaphat ammon mount seir and moab was coming against jehoshaphat jehoshaphat went to the lord in prayer just like what we're going to do Lord give him some confirmation. So he went to get up his men and he was was singing and dancing while he was going to the battlefield. Singing and dancing and giving God praise while he was going to the battlefield. He going up to these three nations that can have the ability to crush him. Maxine, good morning, good morning, how are you doing? And he was singing and praising God, right? So let's see how this turned out. After consulting the people, the king appointed sing singers to walk ahead of the army, singing to the Lord and praising him for his holy splendor. This is what they sang. Give thanks to the Lord. His faithful love endures forever. At that very moment, they began to sing and give praise. The Lord caused the armies of Ammon, Moab, and Mount Seir to start fighting among themselves. The armies of Moab... Armies of Moab and Ammon turned against their allies from Mount Seir and killed every one of them. After they had destroyed the army of Seir, they began attacking each other. So when the army of Judah arrived at the lookout point in the wilderness, all they saw were dead bodies lying on the ground as far as they could see. Not a single one of the enemy had escaped. But you see what them guys were doing going into battle. They were singing. At that very moment, they began to sing and give praises, praises to the Lord. 
So guys, when we pray, we got to move into the praise phase after and give God praise. However the work for you, through music, through worshiping, through however the work for you, but start praising him. Don't just be stuck in the praying, praying, praying. You got to mix it with praising him also. He loves when we praise him. He loves when we acknowledge him, give him praises. He's the Lord of uh, God, of um, God of gods, the Lord of lords, the King of kings. He is it. He loves when we start praising him, thanking him for what we already pray for and start giving him praise, right? Let's look at one more. Joshua 6, 20. This is the walls of Jericho, right? Remember the walls of Jericho? Tell him walk around it, just playing your music. Walk around the walls, you give him the instructions, just playing your music. Don't do anything. Just play your music and praise me. Praise me, right? So we can just jump straight to 20. When the people heard the sound of the ram horns, they shouted as loud as they could. Suddenly the walls of Jericho collapsed and the Israelites charged straight into the tongue and captured it. Right? When they played the horns and the flutes and all of that and they were just going around and they gave the shout. But they went into the praise phase, guys. This is important. We got to mix our prayers with praising God. Whether you do it with music, he taught me this early this week. I praying and praying and then I was on a was on a fast and he said okay no more prayers just going to praising me just to start praising me just start praising me i heard your prayers now praise me just give me prayers and um so i just want to share this with you guys he had pointed out to me i want to share it with you guys after we finish praying get into the praising phase let's just start praising god for what i already have done for you I already have done show your feet by praising him all right, guys, I just want to drop that little nugget for today. I just want to drop that. But you guys have a great day, man. I'm going to enjoy this little outdoor weather before it steam up and get too hot. Because, um, you know, this don't happen often, right, uh, this time of the year, especially this year for us. We're steaming hot by now. So I can just enjoy this a little bit more cool before the sun step up, man. But you guys have a great, great day. Uh, we'll talk again. Um, next Thursday or a little before if I get a good word to drop. All right, guys, have a great day. Bye.